We're on a journey Looking back Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel um, My name's Sam um, Sorry if you can hear that noise in the background It's just Rocky um, throwing his toy about in the air And his little tag on his collar's jingling um, Yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd put a vlog up last night And it was a bit it was a bit of a mismatch really and it wasn't very chatty i didn't really um like talk really um and it was only because i'd recorded like quite a few things over from the space of friday but i didn't really have enough i would have had too much to have put like in a weekly vlog but then too much so it was a bit like so it, i know it was a little bit all over the place um but i thought i'd just do a quick like just a quick catch up chat tonight um and just really see how you're doing get um i've got a couple of things on my list that i just wanted to have a little chat with you about um apologies if i look absolutely shattered it's because i am um ross was on nights last night when he's on night, I just like really struggle to sleep. Um, like I get in bed and go through the motions of like turning the lights out and trying to go to sleep, but then I end up not being able to go to sleep, and my brain's terrible at the minute. If the, if if I'm not watching something or doing something, my brain goes into like overdrive and I, I don't I don't like it when it does that and where it goes um so I just put something like on to watch but I just set it like on a timer uh, for it to go off after so long um but even that just wasn't and then and then I was getting mindful of the fact that it was getting like six uh six seven o'clock and i thought well ross is gonna be being in a minute i'd like to see him so do i just stay awake for an extra 10 minutes see him and um and then go to sleep for a bit but then i was at the hospice today um and my mom my mum was picking me up about um half ten i think it was um, and it takes me a couple of hours on the morning to just like get to like a point where I can actually like function and um, be ready to go sort of thing. Um, so in the end, I must have fell asleep. I didn't. I didn't intend to fall asleep. Must have just been that tired, um, and I slept from. I think it said I slept. I'll have a look at my watch, see what it says. Um, yeah, it says time asleep, one hour, 23 minutes. I slept from 10 past seven um, to 8.36. So I basically waited all that time for Ross to come in. Um, and he came in, obviously, and then the tiredness just hit me and I fell asleep um, and then I woke up obviously an hour later I was shattered didn't didn't feel like going to the hospice at the time um, again because it was just like you know my tummy was hurting like my hip was hurting I just but I thought no you know I knew how much better I'd felt last week um so so i wanted to to go um um uh, which i did go and i did have a really nice time and i had a go oh, crikey well what happens there's the first session that's on yoga um and unfortunately i went in like a little bit late on the session um Sorry, I've got a really like, <clears throat> a bit of 
I've got like a funny throat. Um, yeah, it's like normal yoga and I went in like a bit like late on the session today. Oh, I felt so bad. But they weren't actually doing yoga, they were just doing like some relaxation, sat in the chairs. Um, anyway, I joined in that and that and that was lovely and there was a couple of things, you know, that um, the lady that was doing it said, and I can't even think off the top of my head what, what they were, um, but there was just a couple of things that like really resonated with me and I thought, you know, yeah, that's, that, that's how I want to feel like, you know, to just be able to like put, you know, everything like negative aside and, and just live and be like positive and, um, Anyway, and then the, there's a guy called, sorry, I can't think what the lady's name is who does the yoga, but the guy that does the uh, Thai Chi is called Terry. Um, and he's, he's really good. You just immediately, as soon as you're in his presence, you feel like at ease and calm. And um, anyway, we got chatting today about like how um let me just give me a minute while i'll try and think of how this goes right yeah i've just had a little look it wasn't actually um terry it was the yoga teacher that had said that this this was what i was obviously on about that she'd said and it's about how how we don't usually see the bigger picture um and it gave an example and it said so say like you come out of a shop um, say you've been mugged in the past um, you come out of a shop and you see a young lad wearing a hoodie um, kind of wrestling this woman to the ground so immediately you, you assume that she's been mugged um, and obviously run over to help or you know ring, ring the police or I need to stop moving my hands, don't I? I do a lot of like, anyway, um, yeah, um, and that, but, but what actually happened was, um, there was a truck come in and the lady was going to get hit by a truck. So the young lad had jumped in to have pushed at the ground to obviously save her life. Um, but it's it's this is this is the thing in life where I don't think we see the the bigger picture and I actually took a a picture of of what what she was saying because it 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 just made a lot of sense um and she said it's like we go from point A which is the situation itself to C our our immediate reactions and our um emotions and our body sensations and things and it says we cut out the middle bit which is the inter like the interpretation of what is actually really happening as opposed to just um seeing you know and it did it, it just made a lot of sense to me and i thought you know that that happens quite a lot in life that doesn't it, it um there's a story I'm not sure how many of you'll be aware of it. Um, and it's a, it's an old, I think it's just like a fable type story. Um, and it was about a, a baby and a snake and a dog. Um, if you've not heard the story and you want me to tell the story, I'll gladly tell you the story. Um, let me know in the comments if you do. Um, and next time I'll, I'll I'll do that but it's it's such a tragic story and it's basically that whole scenario of not seeing the bigger picture of what actually went on sort of thing and it, it, it is it's 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 a sad story it's 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 tragic but it it does make you realize that we do need to look at 
like the bigger picture and things. Um, so yeah, so I had, I had that session and then we had the Tai Chi session. And that was about like, you know, like embracing, feeling positive and things like that. Um, and I've had a bit of a, I haven't really said anything to yourselves as well. I have probably, yeah, I have said, I mean, I think you're all aware that I don't, you know, I have some quite like down days and things. Um, and there, there was a few there today. There must have been, it's been nine, nine of us, um, today at the hospice. And we were all sat there and he, and, he, and he got talking and I kind of like said, oh, do you mind if I like interject? I've got kind of a story that like relates to, and I can't remember the, my memory is honestly atrocious. Um, I can't remember what, what it was, but it was something about how like I'm feeling at the minute and, you know, and, and things like that. And it, and I just burst into tears. I literally just burst into tears, like, um, because I think I've just got like, like, there's quite quite a lot of like stuff going on kind of behind the scenes that you know that you don't really see and you know and the kind of the the broader picture so to speak and things are just a bit like like if you're on the sea like be a bit choppy um but i'm sure everything will sort itself out i'm uh, trying to be more positive on 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 that I won't get down in the the dumps, but I feel so much better now. I've um got that little room sorted. Um, I mean sometimes, like I sleep like I sleep on the floor in that room. Um, not because Ross kicks me out or anything like that. It's just. I, I struggle to to get to sleep sometimes and then I'm tossing and turning and it's keeping him awake and then that's not fair when he's got like loads to do the next day you know and I've kept him awake tossing and turning and you know sometimes I'm a bit cold or you know a bit hot or just however so I'll just go and like and that's fine but I need a little bit of space where I can do that. So at least now I can do like claim my like bed back sort of thing. Um, and yeah, and I, I've got my desk now like where it's a working desk. I'm gonna open my laptop on the start doing my admin on there. Um, because I'm just like, I get emails and things like that and I've got other stuff to do that I'm trying to organise and arrange at the minute, which um, I'll fill you in more about that in the future. It's not really relevant or anything at the minute. Um, but yeah, I've got so much to, to do. But I feel like now, now I've got space in the room that I can get in. I can take myself off in there and go and do what I need to get done, done sort of thing. Um, and that was, yeah, that was part of my, like what I was going to talk to you about tonight, the like getting, getting organised and just, I know I keep saying it, you're probably absolutely bored, Richard and me, you'll be like, oh, unsubscribe, sick of her. Um, but I'm just, it's just, a, it, it's just my life at the minute and that's how, that's how I'm feeling. It's something I really want to do, but I'm struggling to find the motivation and the energy and everything to do it. And, and I'm sure there's people, you know, you, yourselves that 
feel like that in situations and you know so I, I hope I'm not boring anybody but um you look at that just ignore that it's just a rip in the cushion I think I mentioned it before just ignore it um but yeah I think I think that that'll help as well because that'll help me like feel more like I want to I want to do you know I've told you about the memory boxes I'm doing I'd like to get them all finished you know just so that they're finished and then they're done the the kids photo albums I want to get them done um get them done and dusted and you know uh, the journals things like that and I just want to get these things done I've halfway through writing my will um but it, it, it it's I don't have enough time in the day um and obviously quite a few days I'm not like good for anything like I, I can't do anything um obviously days I am feeling okay I tend to sleep late um and then by the time I've like come downstairs had a cup of tea you know I had, had my tablets and things like that it's like time's ticking on and I'm like oh you know because like you say most of the time I feel bad I, I'm struggling to find to fit everything in and that's stressing me out because I just I think if I can get organised, I can do this, I can, you know, and I am going to have to make some adjustments. Um, and I'm not opposed to that at all. Um, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll gladly do. You know, if, if, if any of you have got any good ideas of like, I don't know, ways that, I don't really know, because I don't really know what I need to do or, um, I'm just like you say, I'm a bit bemused with it all at the minute and I think because I'm a bit tired as well tonight, um, I was going to do a live, I'm going to start doing lives once a fortnight, um, but I don't really know when to set one for because I don't know when's best for everybody, what's the best time. Or whether I should just randomly just go live and, you know, like, I don't know, like, this is what I was thinking the other day. I thought if I'm just sat felt in, I could, I could go live and be chatting to, like, like all you as well. Like, while I'm, you know, doing that, if Ross is, like, with the dogs or doing something himself sort of thing, it's... So I'd like to do that. So I don't know whether to just do a, an impromptu like live. I think maybe. I think I might do a live at the weekend. I'm thinking maybe on Sunday afternoon. How's that for everybody? Yeah. Let me know, let me know in the comments. Um, and yeah, so I'm not, I'm not gonna like you say, go into all, everything I've repeated myself again about. Um, what else did I have to update? Oh, I've got my scan date, um, which is this beginning of March can't quite remember the date, but it's the beginning of March, which I'm quite surprised about. I thought it might have been a bit um, later than that. I thought it might have been like April, end of April, but I'm not going to complain. At least I'll know where we're at again and what this fluid's doing and, you know, whether there definitely is no tumour there or if anything else is possible. Oh, don't, don't, don't. 
got to start again, Sam. Got to start with the worry again. Um. Yeah, but you know, I am. I do feel like, like you say, very blessed to. To to be in the situation that I'm in, I'm you know I'm lucky that I live in a country where, you know, we get free. Medical care. Um, do I always believe we get the best care? Oh, is this controversial? No, I don't. And that's not because I have any disrespect for the doctors or nurses. It's because I think a lot of it is understaffing. There's just not enough of them to go around to be able to do a perfect job every time. And secondly, the human beings you know and people make mistakes don't they so you know I, I, I don't blame like you know so please don't like be coming at me in the comments say because i'm not certainly not disrespecting like you know like as you know I've, like with my daughters and things and i have a i do i have the utmost respect for the nhs i think it's it's amazing but like you say, I think because of understaffing and things, it, it it's not necessarily the care that you would receive if you were um paying privately sort of thing. Um, but yeah, like you say, I'm not complaining. At least I've got my my date. I love a thing. Um, because I could do with like having a good chat with you all, but. I can't promise that I won't end up getting upset because I'm quite like highly emotionally charged at the minute and I don't want to, you know, if it, I don't, I don't want to be upsetting anybody and so I will just like pre-warn you that it's, and like you say, I've heard some like really positive like things today and stories I'd like to tell you. Um, I'd love to tell you a bit more about my childhood um, period in our lives when we had um, horses where well, we had I think up to seven I think at one point I'll um, I'll double check these figures and I'll get some photos um, and things like that to show you uh, so I want to talk about that with you um, and maybe just my life really what I've um, I know a couple of people have asked, like, you know, like, asked me a few questions and things like that, so, but, yeah, it'd be nice to, to get to, you know, maybe if I'm doing these things on a live, it's nice, because I get to, you know, to inter interact with you as well, um, but, yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm really sorry I'm going to have to get going because I feel absolutely drained and I feel like I can barely keep my eyes open. Um, How are you? What's new in your life? Anything been happening? Any updates to tell me? Um, Let me know in the comments. Um, Honestly, because I, I do genuinely care about about you all, I really, really do. Um, so yeah, or like, or like you say, email me. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll put it up on the screen there, you know, message me on there. You know, if you don't want to put a, like a public message on, but I will, I, you know, I am trying to like, I've kind of like now got myself where I'm, on top of the last like few videos and I think if I can try and do that and then when I get a bit of free time I can then go back and because I still don't want you know I'm still getting messages that I, I need to you know and I want to respond to um I'm waffling now Anna I don't even know where I was going with that see what I mean right okay well yeah as long as you just let me know how you guys are doing um 
sorry if this has been boring um but yeah and i'll see ya I might see you in a video before I go live or I might next see you live. Oh, nerve wracking and scare me to do. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get going for now and take care, everyone. Like, strange. My books have just fell in the corner there. They've been there for hours and literally it's just tipped over. Um, yeah, anyway, right, I'm going to get going. Take care everyone and stay safe and look after each other. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Journey, looking back on the things that we've taken.